Seasonality tells us what a specific financial instrument did in the past, but we need the correlation in order to understand if it's right or not to use seasonality right now. Here in the seasonality, we also have the correlation, okay? This is a very interesting uh, data because thanks to the person formula, okay? We calculate how the actual price, how the current year is moving compared to the seasonality, okay? As always, everything is explained here. Every time you find an info box, if you click, you find a complete explanation, okay? Correlation show how two, ha two things move together. If they are positively, positively correlated, when one goes up, the other usually goes up too. We use the person formula to measure this relationship with, between the current price and different seasonal patterns, okay? It tells us how closely changes in one thing match, changes in another, and it calculates over 60 business day, okay? Person formula, of course, if you would like to uh, search uh, you can find everything online. If you would like to go deeper inside the formula, there is also a Wikipedia page. So you can have all the information you want. Very simple. We uh, know, for example, with an 87% of correlation between the current year and the 10-year seasonality, that we have an high correlation. It means they are moving very similar because out of 100 days, 87 are moving exactly like in the past, okay? Let me see if we have Hanil. This formula is taking me back to the university days. Nice. <laughs> yes, exactly. What we do with the forecaster is just taking what you can learn at the economic university and we plot it here in our software with a very nice user interface. That's it. We don't want to, uh, how, to uh, how can I say, uh, we don't want to invent nothing. This is not a black box. We don't want to tell you what to buy and what to sell. We would like to give you the data, the data you can use in order to take your decisions, okay, regarding trading and investing. Of course, what is very nice, also regarding the seasonality, at the moment, as I told you, we are watching the 10-year seasonality, but of course you can do this, uh, um, this uh, um, analysis also going back, for example, to 20 years. Look, for example, 20 years is very interesting because we have a very high correlation, okay? We have a 91% correlation. Okay, and it's very interesting to see, for example, on 20 years, the average winning goes up to 60%, which is very, very nice. Okay, anyway, let's go back to 10 years just in order to keep the analysis very simple. But as I told you, you have also the daily average, very interesting because, for example, uh, in the past 10 years, you can see that today, which is the 13th of, the, of May, 71% of this specific day were long. And of course, you can find really interesting statistics because look, for example, the day 20 of this month was 86 long and the day 21 was 100% short, okay? So, a lot of people that are using the forecaster, for example, for intraday trading, they use these statistics in a very nice way. For example, they, uh, they wait until the 20th of the month, okay, on the gold, and they wait until the very end moment of the day, and they place a short, okay, because the odds for a short day, for the day after, which is the 21, are very high, okay? And of course, I 
leave I leave to your imagination all the ways you can use this data. And it's very, very, very nice, okay? Of course, you can also find the weekly average uh, with the, the single days, okay? So for example, here we highlighted a specific period and here you can find the odds for every single day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, and Friday, okay? And also the monthly average. So for example, as you can see, um, September, for example, in the last 10 years was a really bad <laughs> month for gold. And as I told you, you can also add other seasonality, okay? So if you would like to have uh, the same statistics for the last 20 years, look, here we are. For example, D21 of May it is a very bad day for gold. Look, because both in 10 and 15 years, we had 100% of short, which is an amazing statistic, okay? And also here, as you can see, we have a consistency. Look, June is 70% in the last 10 years, 67 and 65. I mean, it's very consistent, this data. Look, September, very bad month, 90% short in the last 10 years, 80% uh, short in the last 15, 65% in the last 20. If we go here, look, D21, is 100% short also in the last 15. Very nice data. Harry, Harry is, is asking me, 25 years of seasonality show 92% of correlation. Sh should we use this? Of course. For example, what I always do using seasonality for commodities, but also for all the other instruments, I, in general, plot all the seasonalities, okay? And I watch which is, which is the seasonality with the highest correlation. So in this case, for example, we have 92% correlation with the, the 25 years, okay? Nice. If I would like to use it, it's good to use it because uh, I know that compared to the uh, actual price, to the current year, okay, it's the one which has the highest correlation. So I know that if this correlation continues to stay so high, okay, if we tend to, uh, to stay high, it means that the prices will probably move as what they did in the last 25 years, okay? So for example, watching at this chart, I can see a very high correlation. So I can definitely, definitely highlight, for example, this period where on the chart, but we can also do here, look, on this chart, I can see there is a um, bullish trend, okay? And I can go and see the statistics. In this case, okay, we can also do a little bit more so we have more reliable statistics, okay? Starting from today until the end of September, look, in the last 25 years, we had 64% of winning. It means out of 25 years, we had uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 uh, year of uh, positive returns with an average of 8.7. Look, if you would like to understand if in a specific period you have a high consistency results, you have to try also the short. In this case, both the winning percent and the average return are higher compared to the short, because here we have only 36 with a 6.8% return, okay? It means in this specific period, a bullish trend 
it's more uh, probable, okay? Here, we also have the correlation. So we also know that out of 100 day, days, 92 days are moving exactly like they did in the last 25 years on average. So this is exactly what we can expect from gold in the next month. So as I told you, the forecaster term, you can use the forecaster terminal in many ways, but actually this is a very nice method to use it, okay? Because we know, we know that historically speaking, um, gold moved in, 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 I mean, we know, for example, using, uh, I don't like to use uh, very long seasonalities in general, I use just in order to understand which is the seasonality um, for a specific uh, instrument, I use uh, something between 10 and 20, okay? Just for understanding how this specific instrument did it in the past, okay? For example, June, it was historically speaking a bad month for gold. September, historically speaking, was a bad month for gold. But we added the correlation, okay, because what happened in the past is not a promise for the future, okay? So we added the correlation in order to understand if today we can rely on seasonality and in this case of course we can also use the 25 year seasonality because it has a very high correlation with the current year but as you can see the analysis for the next month are, are is very consistent consistency because we have a high correlation on every seasonality okay this video is an extract of an entire masterclass regarding investments and trading. You can find the entire free course here on YouTube. You can find the link in the description.